So behind me I have some seedlings that I'd started not too long ago. Already these seedlings are starting to outgrow the humidity dome that they're in. I need to start thinking ahead. Uh, I won't be around for a few weeks so I want to be able to keep these plants going even when I'm gone. So I'm going to have to put these into some kind of self-watering system to make sure they're alive when I get back. One of the ways I'm going to be able to do that is with this flood table. This one is made by Botanicare, specifically built for hydroponic systems. All we have to really do is set up our flood and drain setup in it and then we'll be able to put the plants in there, set up some timers, and hopefully this thing will look after my plants while I'm gone. One of the things that has really helped me keep these seedlings in check is just a simple thermometer and hydrometer. And it's really easy for me to try to keep that humidity level around 80. And I've even learnt with these plants that as soon as it starts to fall below 60 that it's possibly time for a little watering. So it makes it really easy to know when these plants need water and if they are at their ideal climate. I'm going to head into the garage now and see if I can't set something up for this flood table. So here I am in a bit of a workspace. There should be a lot of potential in here for some real cool stuff and I'll show you guys this area more a little bit later. Right now we're just going to get to work on this flood table. So I had purchased some fittings for this thing but I don't think I'll be able to use them the way I want to so I might be able to use one of them. Uh, this one here was fairly cheap. Uh, you got grommets on each side so should be leak proof. Uh, the other one would be a fill one and you don't want to know how much this one costs and I don't think I will be using this one just because I don't have the room to put them each where I want to. Because I'm not able to put these guys side by side in the flood table I was able to find what I needed through my box of old fittings so I should be able to have something in there that will work for me. This table is pretty cool in that it has little indents where you can put your drill to start your holes. I'm also drilling in reverse which is supposed to give a cleaner hole. I will have to modify the drain fitting a little bit so that it sits flush against the bottom of the tray and hopefully I still have enough of the rubber seal left there that it won't leak. So I got my fittings in, my water in, my water out. Obviously my out is going to be a lot bigger to make sure that this thing doesn't flood and come over the top. Next thing I need to do on the inside is build a little standpipe so I can adjust my water height in this tray. Alright, I'm just going to hook up the tubing and then try this out. Ideally you don't want to be using the clear tubing, that's what I had, but something non-transparent that isn't going to let the light through would be better in a situation like this. So everything is set up and running behind me. I have my overflow valve which will control the height of the water in my flood tray. I'll probably run this system two times a week, uh, two minutes at a time and that should be enough time to keep the seedlings from drying out. I might end up supplementing some of the light with some four foot T5s I have. But other than that, that's pretty much it to this build. Thanks for watching.